Hello, I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minute Max. Welcome. Today we're going to talk a little bit about, on broad strokes, what evil is trying to do. Now this is an important list of things that you need to know whether you're in information security or you're in digital forensics and especially incident response. Once you understand what the adversary is doing and what they're trying to accomplish, you'll do a much better job of finding them, catching them, not to mention keeping them out of your environment in the first place. If you don't know what they're trying to do, how do you know what doors to close? So here then is the top five list of the things that the adversary is trying to do. First of all, the adversary is trying to introduce data to your system. When I say introduce data, I don't mean a Word document. I'm talking about an executable. They're trying to run a file. They're trying to run their evil, their badness. Once they introduce their file to your environment, now they're going to try to execute the data. They need to run their program. Once they run their program, it allows them to get into your RAM. If the program is running and it's now in RAM, guess what? Whatever's happening in RAM is undetectable anywhere else. If I can inject my process into your antivirus program in RAM, wow bad day for you. Next thing they're trying to do is create an outbound command and control channel so that they can call home to the mothership, establish that collection to either exfiltrate data or infiltrate data, say in the case of ransomware. They need to set up that outbound command and control channel, reach out to the mothership to pull the encryption keys into your system. Guess where those keys sit? In the RAM. We're going to talk about pulling data out of the RAM in future talks. What's the next thing they're trying to do? Well, they need to achieve persistence. In other words, they need to survive a reboot. And then they need to cover their tracks. Well, let's look at each one of these. Introducing the data. Come on. You mean to tell me people can introduce data to your system and you don't know about it? Well, you better know. Remember, executables. Anybody inserting a program, you should know that's coming into your environment. They're trying to execute it. You should absolutely know on your systems when a program executes, and you need to be blocking any uh, unauthorized programs. When they try to create an outbound command and control channel, well, aren't you monitoring Netstat? You can see what outbound connections there are. I'm going to be giving you some quick wins in a later three-minute max talk about how you detect evil looking at your outbound connections. The next thing they're trying to do is they're trying to achieve persistence. Guess what? There's a very few places in the RAM that they have to put their badness in order to be able to achieve persistence. We can absolutely monitor those and closely watch them for this activity. And then they're going to try to cover their tracks. In other words, they're looking for your logs to blow them up. Protect your logs. Thanks for watching this three minute max. Go to sans.org to see all of the wonderful, fantastic webcasts in the cybercast format that we have for training going forward. Thanks, and I'll see you tomorrow.